Have a great day. Well, I smoke. Like most big cities, Houston is also struggling with how to most effectively help our homeless population. There are many reasons why a person could lose the roof over their head, but for a large group of people, it simply comes down to being priced out of the market. Rent and property taxes are just too high. New Hope Housing is the sweet spot for hundreds of people who would otherwise fall between the cracks. This program was brought to my attention when one of our guests, designer Abby Vosick, told me what it was and why it struck a chord with her. Abby, you have a personal reason as to why this project here is so close to your heart. I do. You know, I feel like, well, I just remember being 10 years old and being very much in a similar situation as a lot of the people coming into here. I was one of four children. My mom was single, newly divorced, had uh, not a whole lot of work experience under her belt. She was Her job was to take care of us. And we found ourselves in a real desperate situations where we couldn't necessarily make ends meet. And she knew she needed a leg up. She needed a higher education. But how could we ever afford something like that? You had a miracle happen. Not everybody has a miracle happen. No, no, and there was no New Hope housing. Your mom became an interior designer and yes. a therapist. Right? Yes. I got a license yes. to be a therapist. Uh, but, but you're an interior designer as well. I you am. understand yeah, yeah. the importance of every little thing here. Nothing's by accident, including cool. the color of the building. The color of the building alone. I mean, all the beautiful green, the shades of green that we see. Green is one of those colors that, that signify abundance, that nurtures us. It's that heart chakra, so it's very nurturing and healing. So there's there's no mistake yeah. here with the color choice, the materials they've chosen that are sustainable and easy to care for, that are warm and inviting. The colors are happy. I mean, they're community kitchen it just makes me smile ah the yeah, open breezeway yeah. all the breezeways the windows all the natural lighting lighting is so healing and so i just feel like there there's a lot of subtle choices some are bold some are subtle and they all are leading us towards a uh, community and yeah. to our better well-being Joy, a lot of us are uncomfortable when we see somebody homeless on the street, and I think it's because we realize how close we could be to that. Even so, we have a tendency to think of homeless people as out of sight, out of mind, if it's not part of our problem. What New Hope Housing does is you take that problem and you solve it and you give people back their dignity. We do indeed. We offer housing plus services to people who have extremely low incomes. A typical resident would have an income of about $10,000 a year. And you know, Deborah, you should be uncomfortable when you see people on the street. The street is an inappropriate place for people to live. It's wrong. The answer to people not having a home is having one. The model here is for individuals, both women and men, to be able to have a small efficiency unit, 250 square feet, 300 square feet. Think of very well-designed uh, hotel room. We've created community, and we've created community at the nexus of art, architecture, and nature. That is very important to the human spirit, and we need to also honor the neighborhood that welcomes us to build in it by building something beautiful, something architecturally fine, something that fits into the neighborhood, not the same building we just built somewhere else, but something special for you and your neighborhood and the people who will live here. And as to so many um, housing areas like this uh, could be very institutional looking, could be very closed off, but take us through the thought process of what makes this not a place to stay, but a home and a community. Well, we started really with the land itself, and the land gave us these trees that you're seeing outside, and we really started realizing that that was going to be the center of the whole uh, development here was give a real sense of an old established place and the shade and all of that. We wanted to capture that and bring that to the community. So we started there and then we started looking about, okay, we'll wrap the courtyard around that. And then we started getting these long corridors and we started wanting to open those corridors, not have a lot of tunnels. And so we opened those courtyards, or those corridors into the courtyard. So as you're always moving from light to light and you're always walking by light as you're going down the corridor. You also have uh, a big chance of running into a neighbor, which so many of us yes. go into our home, shut the garage door, we don't ever see our neighbors. Here, they're going to interact with people. You're always gonna be meeting people. You're always gonna be bumping into people that you see. And it's a way to build community. You know the people around you, you're looking around, you know who they are. 
It's not the biggest community in the world, it's about 160 people. So you get to know them, so the, the, the numbers here are a little bit interesting, that it, it really builds a community that you can remember. Sarah, we get people off the street and we know they have a better chance to just survive, right? But when you come here, you don't just survive, you thrive because you have services. So talk about what services are available to folks here. Mm -hmm. Deborah, our residents are just as diverse as the rest of Houston and they come from all over uh, every single community that we have. Uh, many come to us as retirees, somebody who has uh, worked a minimum wage job all their life and New Hope is a place for them to retire, uh, to age in place. And then some of them are uh, chronically homeless individuals, individuals that are coming from the streets. And so we tailor our services to be just as diverse as the population that walks through our front door. Uh, we focus on uh, budgeting classes, financial education, um, really anything that somebody walks through our front door and needs, we tailor those services to match that. The change in attitude that you see in people when they come in. They brighten up when they know that we are here to serve them and that our job here is to make sure that they are safe, healthy, happy. They're not a number. Uh, that they're not a number, exactly. We have 160 residents here uh, and that means that we know every single one of their names and every single one of their stories. Pam, there are lots of roads that can lead to homelessness. What was the thing that happened to you that had you in an unstable position? Oh, uh, I had a good job that I enjoyed, and then I was diagnosed with MS, and my, all my family is still up in Chicago. Um, so it just, I couldn't, when I didn't have the job, I couldn't keep paying that rent. So it just, it happened through a series of events. But what has this place meant to you and how is it different? Well, the staff here is wonderful and you have your own space that is your space that you have a key to. Your things are secure. I feel secure walking here because there are video cameras all in the halls. I never have felt threatened in any way. It's personal, you know, you feel, you feel like a family with a lot of these people. So a great quote from Anne Frank. I love that. I believe that nature brings solace in all troubles. So the three pillars of this design here is art, architecture, and nature because of its rejuvenating, restorative qualities. This is a wonderful alternative for seniors. And you have your privacy, but you can get help when you need it. Um, this particular uh, 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 housing area right here is for adults, single adults, right? But That's you right. have something else coming. That's right. Early next year, we're going to open up 187 one, two, and three bedroom apartments for at risk and homeless families, plus all the services. Yeah, this is so cool. And Pamela here uh, threatened to take over the show if she came this morning. So, <laughs> does that still stand? Oh, she's, oh, she's getting well. I'm here. pretty artistic. You're right. But you know, one point that you made that is so critical, we know with a lot of older folks, a lot of older folks will lose their homes simply because of trying to keep up with property taxes, right? right. And so this is a great alternative for uh, a lot of seniors, as you and mentioned. And the fact, again, that you have your privacy, you have your yeah. own room. Because you've been in a shelter before where you shared it with four other women. Ten. Ten, oh, ten other women. Oh, okay. Well, one ten, house. Yeah, yeah. The so. thing is, this is an alternative for people that can't go into those senior living places yeah. that is so five, yeah. 6,000 a month. Yeah. This is available. Yeah. And it is affordable. All right. And I couldn't even share a bedroom with my sister, so I can imagine 10 <laughs> other women. So. These people are great people. The New Hope housing yeah. people are wonderful. Well, they, fantastic. They gave us chance. Yeah. All right. One of those jewels in our city, so thank you very much.